please, before we proceed, ensure that you like and subscribe to our page so that you'll be getting interesting updates whenever we upload our video. Yeah. And I promise you, you won't regret doing so. So today, we'll be talking on how to take accurate body measurements. You know that it is very essential for you to take an accurate body measurement because failure to do that, you know, will mess up that point. If the measurement is correct, there's nothing you can do. So now we need to take accurate body measurements. But today in this video, we are going to talk about we are we'll be talking about how to make horizontal measurements. How to take horizontal measurements. So now look at this body form. I've already written the measurement that we're going to take for the horizontal measurement. So we have our bust, on the bust, waist, hips, thigh, knee, calf, and the rest. So now let's go to the business of today. Now, how do we take the bust measurement? You take your paper to the back. It will come over the bust apex. Yes. So ensure that your tape proof, your tape measurement is on the bust apex. So with that, you'll be able to get accurate building measurement. And ensure that it is not too tight and it is not too loose. So whatever you get, you write it down. That is your bust measurement. Then you will go to the under bust, just as the name implies. You take the measurements from the under bust. Measure not too loose, not too tight, whatever you get, write it down. Then we move to the waist area. Measure your waist circumference, measure it round. So whatever you get, make sure that it is not too tight, not, neither will it be too loose. So write out, write down whatever it you get as your measurement. Then the hips area. Yes, that's the bottom area. So make sure that you take your tape round the bottom place, the bottoms. Then you measure them. Whatever you get, you record it down. Make sure that it's not too loose and not too tight. If it is too loose, the clothes may not be so fitted on the person you are making it for. And if it is too tight, they will find it difficult to wear it. That is the reason why I'm emphasizing on not making it too loose, neither making it too tight. Now, we want to move to the side part. So all these measurements at the down part here, they are necessary, especially if you want to make a trouser. Now, we want to measure the tie. The tie is the biggest part of the lap. So you measure this round. So whatever you get, you record it down. The largest part of the lap, if you, if you understand, is your thigh. Then we move to the nail. You measure your nail round. Yes. Whatever you get, you write it down. Then the calf. The calf is in between the ankle and the nail. You measure it as well. Then lastly, you measure your ankle. So all these measurements are very uh, essential. If you want to sew a fitted trouser, a pencil trouser, so you must take your thigh, your knee, your calf, and your ankle so that it can be fitted. So that is how far we can go on today's lecture. On our next video, we are going to make our vertical measurement. So please subscribe and like our page so that when we upload it, you will be the first to be notified. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.